Yo, what is going on guys? Ben Glitter here coming back at you with another video. Today we are coming at you with another episode of Power of Peterson, one of the most liked viewed videos series on my channel. You guys have been loving Power of Peterson. Make sure to hit the like button uh, if you keep wanting to see me pump out more of these. But it came to my attention that two episodes ago in episode number 10, aka the craziest episode ever, which actually definitely was, I forgot even more upgrades. I missed out on one upgrade and two tier skips. So with my first upgrade, I've decided to upgrade from 88 Jared Goff, and we're going to go ahead and give uh, 90 Randall Cunningham a try. So he is going to get plugged into the team. And now I have two tier skips to use. So I'm thinking about Evan Ingram. I'm thinking about, on the defensive side of the ball, I'm thinking about um, free safety for sure. That definitely comes to mind get me like an 85 to 89 overall free safety thinking about defensive tackle get me at least an elite defensive tackle to come in on goal line packages and things like that but uh let's go ahead and use these two tier skips strong safety also a very big option all right we're gonna go ahead and give martellus bennett a try 44k for the 88 overall pound the rock tight end the reason i'm going after marty b is run block he is 80 run block we're a running team. That's fantastic run block. That is one tier skip. I have one more to go. All right, in surprise fashion, my tier skip is going to be on a kicker. Caleb Sturgis, I think he actually adds a lot to our team. 83 kick power, 83 kick accuracy, which is significantly better than Nick Novak. I think he adds a lot to our team. Also, 70 speed if we ever want to try any fake. 70 uh, could be a lot worse. But that's going to be my two tier skips that I forgot about and my upgrade. So we're rocking a new quarterback. We finally have a new kicker. Uh, I know we just did get Nick Novak, but he wasn't ever really all that good. So we're going to go ahead and put Caleb Sturgis into the lineup at starting kicker and kickoff specialist. And then go to the offense side of the ball and replace Evan Ingram with Marty B. Go ahead, plug him in there. He's going to fit the scheme perfectly. Stay in 88 overall, but we are two away from Pound the Rock tier three, which increases run block on the offensive line, stiff arm, and throw on the run. With Randall Cunningham also have Pound the Rock, I mean, like, we're in a really good position. So if I can upgrade Marvin Jones and Mitchell Schwartz, that is Pound the Rock tier three, and we are in a stellar position. But let's go ahead and jump into our game for the episode. Just realize, like, the screen's probably not optimized for you guys. Not probably. It's definitely not. Sorry if you couldn't see things all that well. But um, it is what it is. It'll be fine for the game. I'm still not even fixing it now. <laughs> but uh, so far, we are coming off our first loss of the season. 2-1 and one on the season. Five wins till our playoff berth, which I think we're going to be able to do. Let's go ahead and get matched up. Cheesy Broccoli's got Julian Edelman, Rodney Harrison, and Reggie White. I don't know why I'm wearing these. I don't... I don't need them at all. I'm not listening to anything. All right, let's see what this guy's going to run at me. He's got DeMarco Murray, Cam Newton. He's also got Martellus Bennett. Is that a swing pass? Really? What are you, me last year? What are you, TT23? Okay. Are you going to do it again? Faked him out. Oh, my goodness, Malik Hooker. You got to make that play. Is this the kind of offense I'm going to run up against? Because uh, it's certainly going to be annoying for at least a little while. Not really, but kind of. I can easily stop it. Yeah, like, motion inside zone. I'm all over this offense, Cheesy Broccoli. I know this inside and out. You can't do this to me. <laughs> He's going to go for it on 4th and 11. After that incredible possession. Okay. Interesting. See, you can't go to that because it's not going to get you the first down. Great play by Brendan Langley. I was okay with uh, with letting that pass get completed because I don't think he would have gotten the first. But I'm fine to take over on offense. I don't think Cheesy Broccoli is going to last long, especially if I can score quickly. Let's get Adrian Peterson, power of Peterson squad, some upgrades. Also, the debut of Randall Cunningham. We're going to test out the cannon early. And there is Stefan Diggs down at the 10. 36 yards on the first play. Here we go. I'm just going to run. I fumbled the ball. I thought Randall would be able to take a hit. 
That's unfortunate. Also, speaking of fumbles, if Adrian Peterson fumbles, that is an upgrade point for the episode deducted. So, definitely don't want to fumble. Why did that play like a run commit? Why was that so open? Ah, cover two invert. That'll do it. You want to throw at me, don't you? Don't you? Somebody get after the quarterback, please. Somebody get after him. If he gets up and throws a strike for a first down, I'll be pissed. Wow, okay. If we're on Tampa 2 again, again, put Williams on a spy. Hold, contain, pinch the defensive line. We got the hard flats going. He's trying to find somewhere to go, and there is nowhere to go. Great sack again. It's Geno Atkins again making the play. This might be his debut. I think it is. Let's get the ball to the star of the episode and every episode that we do. Adrian Lewis Peterson. Nowhere really to go. I feel like I should have played that differently. Third and nine. Here we go. Big third and nine. Who is open? Adrian Peterson is. Get the first down. Oh my goodness. Adrian Peterson on the truck for the first down. What a play. Let's extend here. Oh my goodness. Dude, I'm getting manhandled. I'm going to make that throw. It's Darren Waller. Flashback, not not flashback to Aaron Waller, but flashback to when he was really good for our team. All right, here we go, Randall. You better not fumble again. Oh my goodness, Randall Cunningham in his debut. Let's go, touchdown, we take the lead. Can't fumble if you can't touch me. Very good drive. Now I do think there is time to get the ball back and score again before the half. Minute and 49th to play, we are up by four. If we can get a quick stop and take the ball back, I'm confident I could score before the half. And I can't remember if I kicked off or not. Motion inside zone. Someone get on him. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. Actually, if I man this up. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I went to do. Oh, my goodness. Please. How did he not get tackled? I really want him to try that swing again when I have that cornerback in man. I left that wide open. Darius Slay makes the tackle. Time is ticking here. He's not using his timeouts. It looks like he's willing to settle for the field goal, which is a pretty pussy move, especially when you could go ahead before half, and he's just playing the field goal. Does he not know of the time? Oh, my God. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Cheesy Broccoli. You could not have played that worse. Cover four was a good play call for what I wanted to do, but I need to get to running the ball more. Give me some blocks. Adrian Peterson's going to spin back and then get tackled around the back of the knees. Another cover four play. Okay. I don't trust this. Look, I don't... I don't think that, um... That he's blitzing me, but I can't take the chance. I really can't. Marty B doesn't really have the speed, but I will throw over the top. That's open. Just got to take what he gives you. There's the juke. There's a truck. No. Okay. Hey, I'll take it. Adrian Peterson's been kind of a force to be reckoned with in the run game thus far. He did run mid-blitz. That's why I couldn't run inside zone. I really wanted to. Had to change up the play call. This time he's out of double A-gap again. I don't think it's mid-blitz. It is. Okay. Five rushes for 10 yards from Adrian. Not a great look. He's not, he's not, he's not. Hey, I'm going to throw it up to Adrian. That's underthrown. Oh, can you imagine if Adrian made that catch? That would be unbelievable. Third and ten. His users are quite poor, but Adrian's also open. I throw it too late. I threw it too late. That's picked off. Get back there, Randall. All right, that is super unfortunate. I threw the ball too late trying to force it to Adrian Peterson. Safety came down in a purple. Maybe he was playing the hard flat there. It doesn't matter. I think he was just in the basic curl flat. Um... And I just, I made a really, really poor read. I knew that was going to happen, and I just did it anyway. Uh, really quite poor from me. Fumble, fumble, pick up the ball. Thank you. Get up and run, Daniil. Get up and run. Get up, get up, get up. Jesus, dude. We got the ball right back, though. Lucky. Third and six. I'm going to trust the offense to get this conversion without Adrian Peterson. I'm going to trust him. Let's stand. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you better change because that's a mistake. 
I'm running with Randall. Damn, I gotta slide. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna fumble the ball again. I'm gonna be super pissed when I do. There's the wide receiver screen. The spin back to the inside, and no, he got up the, off the ground from nowhere. Oh, he played that well. Oh my goodness, that's so lucky. That's so lucky. That is so lucky. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Stefan, make a play. Oh, he didn't really beat press too well. I'm gonna run, I think. Move Stefan Diggs back that way, and Randall Cunningham into the end zone for rushing touchdown number two. We got something cooking here. <laughs> Again, I want I want a cute quarterback spy. He's gonna run, he's gonna run. There's nothing I can do there. I wanted I didn't have time to set up a quarterback spy. <sighs> I would say like, oh, all this guy can do is run, but like my two touchdowns of the day are rushing touchdowns with uh with Randall Cunningham. It's like who am I to talk? It sucks and cut me down, man. I would have been there. Come on. Alright, now I have a spy. Try it, try it now. You're not gonna be able to do anything. I have the contain locked up. I have that locked up. You can't run. Look at him get dragged down. John Abraham on the sack. Where's your hurry up? Alright, we're gonna come out in 335 wide. Vernon Gino is a spy. Daniel Hunter is a vert hook. I'm gonna use her Shazier. Play the slant, but it's most likely an out. And that's intercepted. No, he dropped it. I put that in perfectly. Vernon on the spy. We're only technically rushing two, and that's picked off by Richards. Let's go. We get pick six this. No, we can't, actually. I want Adrian Peterson to get some points, though. I don't think he had I don't think we have one upgrade over the entire episode. It just hasn't worked out that way. Let's see if we can run on him a little bit. Just a little bit. Here's Adrian. Decent gain. It's a weak box. Just set me up with blocks and I'm good. There's Adrian. Go, Adrian. Go. He's gone. No one's going to catch him. Adrian Peterson. Celebrating end zone. Touchdown. That's an upgrade. That's also probably somewhat close to 100 yards on the day. Maybe 150 total yards. We're definitely getting at least one upgrade off this episode off the touchdown, but it it very much could be more. PJ Williams. I'm going to call a timeout. I know I'm being a dick, but um, this guy kind of played like a dick. Not really, but like kind of. And um, I don't, really what it comes down to is uh, is I want another upgrade point with Adrian Peterson. So I got to send some screamers. Another sack. Daniil Hunter, third of the game. Timeout. I, I saw. I hate to be that guy, but like, there's more on the line than just the game and this guy's feelings. I don't give a shit. I need my upgrade points. All right, we stopped him short. Nine seconds to get five yards and potentially more. Five rushing yards is an upgrade. That's all I need. That should be three on the episode, provided I can get five yards. Does 29 yards get me 150 all-purpose? It does. That would also be nice. 99 yards. That's my last time out. I needed a touchdown. I'm going to cheese. All right. Tight slots. Faggotry. Here we go. Set me up with a block. Juke back inside. Adrian Peterson. That's 100 yards on the day. That's 115 yards. He's going to be really close to 150. I don't think he got it. That is going to be an upgrade point for the touchdown, an upgrade point for the win. Let's go ahead and go to the calculator. Calculator. That is 115 yards rushing plus 25. So clearly that is 140 and not 150. You don't even need the calculator for that. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But uh, yeah, that is going to be one upgrade point for 100 rushing yards. One upgrade point for the touchdown. One upgrade point for the win. Sorry if you watched this cheesy broccoli. You were pretty shitty. It's just, it's a fact. Like, there's no point in me saying you were okay. I'm not going to. You were pretty shitty because I beat you by a lot. Um, but uh, sorry for calling the timeouts. I can apologize for that. Sorry for calling the timeouts. Needed the upgrade points. I'm sure you understand. 21 to 3. Let's go ahead and spend some upgrade points. Again, we have three to spend. I already know who I want to is the thing. I'm going to go, it's going to be Pound the Rock. 
it's going to be receiver, and it is going to be Minnesota Vikings. He is kind of a sick card. Do not freak out. It is not legend Chris Carter, but it, it is legend Chris Carter. 30K for this beast. He's actually really, really good. He's going to be an excellent slot receiver. I know it's only a plus one, but um, he's so good. He really, really is. Let's go ahead and compare him to Marvin Jones. So they have the same speed, but he has huge increases to catching, elusiveness, plus two to spectacular catch, only plus one release, same route running, same catch and traffic, and then a boost to jumping, plus he has pound the rock chemistry, any plays for the Vikings. So it's kind of like just a major boost to my team overall since it's kind of Vikings themed. I know it wasn't a requirement of the series, but I kind of wanted to make it around mostly Vikings players because it was, it was kind of like power of Peterson. Maybe we'll have that be a requirement for a different series down the line. Let's go ahead and get to our next upgrade. Next upgrade is going to be Ryan Schrader. 85 overall right tackle for the Atlanta Falcons. If we go ahead and check out his stats, they're actually really good. Now, the strength is a bit low, but he has 85 run block, which is great. 84 pass block, 83 impact blocking, 63 speed. If you see how he compares to Mitchell Schwartz, the strength is down, but he has way better run block, which is really important. Impact block is minus one, same pass block. Um, but really, I think what stands out a lot about Ryan Schrader is he's just so much faster, which is going to play a huge part in the running game. He's also 6'7". I don't even know how much he weighs, but weight does play a huge factor in the game this year, as far as I'm aware. Uh, Ryan Schrader is currently topping these scales at 6'7", 300 pounds. Mitchell Schwartz is probably extremely close in weight. He is 317. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. Than Ryan Schrader, but Ryan Schrader is just a sick run blocking right tackle. He runs the pound the rock chemistry, and that pound the cock chemistry is so important to the team. Let's go ahead and plug those two players in. So Mitchell Schwartz has played well for us, but Ryan Schrader is that new sheriff in town. And then to complete our pound the rock chemistry. 85 Chris Carter making us an 86 overall we have pound the rock tier 3 so that's going to increase Martellus Bennett's overall that's going to increase Ryan Schrader's overall we got a lot of Vikings players and a lot of players who have played on the Vikings Adrian Peterson played for the Vikings Randall Cunningham played for the Vikings Randy Moss played for the Vikings Chris Carter played for the Vikings Stefan Diggs currently on the Vikings um, on the defensive side of the ball we have, I don't know, who do we have? Daniel Hunter currently plays on the Vikings. We have Terrence Newman currently plays for the Vikings. You guys get the point. We're kind of going along a lot of Minnesota players. But we do have one more upgrade point left. I think I'm going to get myself an 80 to 84 overall strong safety. Not that Terrence Brooks hasn't played well, but he hasn't played that well. All right, surprise, I'm going with a defensive tackle. We need a better one for goal line packages. Cost an upgrade point. He's a 79 overall. Dominique Easley, the former beast at Florida. He was so good there. But that is going to be our final upgrade point, and I think where I'm going to leave you guys for the episode. I didn't bring the overlay back on. I think it does look really cool. So sorry about that. I know many of you hate it. You're like, fuck that overlay. Fuck you. All right, Clinton McDonald is out. And we're going to bring in Dominique Easley. Solomon Thomas would be cool. Not even a bad card either. Maybe we'll upgrade to his... He got a team of the week. That's something to consider at defensive tackle too. But uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave you guys for the episode. Dominique Easley comes in. Makes the team overall just a little bit better. In general. I mean, when I say overall, I don't mean overall in the top right. I mean overall. Terrence Brooks and Malik Hooker live to see another day. Same thing with much of the offense, although the offense is pretty sick. I'm not even going to lie. Like, this is a really, really good-looking offense. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.